welcome Stellaris community. Since we're on an accelerated dev diary schedule, we thought it might be helpful to review the Toxoids dev diaries that we've done thus far. The Toxoids Species Pack will release on September the 20th and is available for pre-order now. The Toxoid Species Pack includes two new origins, the Overtuned and the Knights of the Toxic God. We'll only be talking about the Overtuned today. Overtuned is the grim but exulting reminder that a brief life burns the brightest. Through invasive surgery and by modifying biochemical pathways, you can impart your pops with 13 new overtuned traits. Each of these traits is a mirror to an already existing far more survivable trait. There are next to no restrictions on mixing them with other traits, so feel free to create whatever biological monstrosities you can imagine. Why do I feel like I'm going to regret saying that? In practice, the Overtune traits are all about as strong or slightly weaker than their mirror traits, usually cheaper in a trait point cost, but also reduce your leader lifespan depending on their point cost. And for those of you who just love to ask yourselves, what is the worst that could happen? Overtuned will also grant you access to a new edict called Damn the Consequences, which doubles the effects of all Overtuned traits, but also doubles the upkeep of Overtuned pops. The unity cost of this edict is based on a percentage of your unity income, because we believe in never taking away your ability to ask a rhetorical question. In addition to the Overtuned origin and Knights of the Toxic God that we will be talking about next week, the Toxoid Species Pack comes with a new Ascension perk, four new species traits in addition to those in the Overtuned, and three new Civics. Megacorps and regular Empires have access to all three of these new Civics. Our first Civic, Mutagenic Spars, which is also available to Gestalt Consciousnesses, gives you a special building that gives you the option of boosting your pop growth per industrial district at the expense of habitability, pop happiness, and or amenities, just your average day at the permutation pools. Our second Civic, the Relentless Industrialists, will have to deal with the ongoing situation about the environmental effects of their increased enthusiasm for alloy and consumer goods production. Of course, should you be cold-hearted and profit-orientated enough, the problem becomes a self-solving one, especially if your species can survive working in these hostile environments. Our third Civic expands upon a change in the free patch, which is the ability to choose what you wish to gain from debris, alloys, or research. The new Scavenger Civic will allow an empire to gain both benefits as well as salvage some actual ships from the debris. Even the toughest species can't quite survive in a world that is entirely poisonous. 50% poisonous, however, is another beast altogether. And that is where the Detox Ascension perk comes in. After choosing this perk, empires will be able to turn those giant balls of death into giant balls of not quite death. Given how perilous toxic worlds are, this act of terraforming will be a bit more involved than normal, since even the initial phase makes them colonizable, but there will be remnants of their toxic past interfering with the prosperity, which might be nice if you like things like poisonous algae or venomous insects. Also, with Toxoids, we're adding four new traits to the game, available to all portraits, but only three of these traits will be available as game start. Pops that rely on the Incubator trait will enjoy only a modest bonus on their capital worlds, giving the starting number of pops. But out in the new colonies, there are plenty of incubators to spare for your precious puddle of toxic sludge. I mean, offspring. Yes, I know they're the same thing. The next trait, Inorganic Breath, is a small but flavorful addition to our roster of new toxoid traits. Waking up to this in the morning certainly will make days in the research labs that much more desirable. While Noxious Pops will decrease the happiness of all non-Noxious Pops on the same planet, and in turn receive a happiness bonus for every non-Noxious and therefore unhappy Pop. Talk about toxic neighbors. Exotic Metabolism, however, is an advanced trait, and thus will require fully finished genetic ascension, as it requires a robust economy to support their exotic upkeep. Its benefits are strong, its upkeep is severe, and it requires a deep investment into biological enhancement. We do hope to see some interesting builds with this. Hope you've enjoyed this rundown of the new gameplay features coming to the Toxoid Species Pack on September the 20th. Be sure to join me next week, where I'll be showing off the ships and the portraits, and we'll talk about the Knights of the Toxic God. But this is kind of crazy. Is this crazy enough for you? I don't know.